Hello, and welcome to another podcast from Dr. Crunch. My name's Viral. My name's Arjuna. My name's Dara. And today, we're going to be talking about the management of Parkinson's disease. The format of this podcast will be in a question and answer session based on the kind of questions you'd expect in a final Zoski. So, let's begin. Begin station. How do you manage idiopathic Parkinson's disease? So, as with many chronic conditions, a multidisciplinary approach is always a good start to this question. Think about the need for falls or risk assessment, the need for assault for swallowing, treating underlying depression, and so on. Medically, the single best drug you can give for symptom relief at the start is L-DOPA. DOPA can cross the blood-brain barrier where it is converted to dopamine by DOPA decarboxylase. This really works miracles in most patients. The immediate side effects of levodopa include nausea and vomiting. To reduce peripheral side effects of the drugs, a dopa decarboxylase which does not cross the blood-brain barrier is given at the same time, such as carbidopa. This also reduces the dose of levodopa needed. What are the long-term problems with levodopa? Anyway, the three main long-term problems with this drug usually occur after at least three years of use quite convenient really. These are number one, on-off fluctuations, number two, end-of-dose problems, and number three, dyskinesias. On-off fluctuations, as the name suggests, are an abrupt return of Parkinsonism at unpredictable times. The usual solution is to combine levodopa with the dopamine agonist. Cabergoline, a COMT inhibitor, can also be used to reduce the levodopa dose and modestly improve both motor impairment and disability. End of dose problems and the wearing off phenomenon are the same thing. It is managed by using modified release L-dopa, using smaller and more frequent doses of L-dopa or adding in a dopamine agonist. Which brings us to the last one, dyskinesias. So these are more complicated. Most are related to the peak dose of levodopa so reducing the individual dose whilst increasing the frequency may help. Amantadine is also used. Because these problems are related to the length of time L-DOPA is given, starting L-DOPA is delayed for as long as possible. With a younger patient and or a patient with less troublesome symptoms, dopamine agonists such as rapinarol or primipexol may be offered ahead of L-DOPA. With a patient with only a few years to live, or, for example, a patient with very disabling symptoms, levodopa may be appropriate from diagnosis. Essentially, dopamine agonists have an L-dopa sparing effect, with the cost of reduced efficacy. What is the role of apomorphine? Apomorphine is a potent dopamine receptor agonist. It is the go-to drug for rapid relief of off symptoms. What is the role of MALB inhibitors? These can be used both first line and later as an adjunct therapy. They may delay the need for levodopa in early Parkinson's in some cases. What is the role of anticholinergics? Benzatropine and procyclidine are most helpful early in the disease course. They are particularly effective against tremor compared to other symptoms and are most effective against drug-induced Parkinson's as opposed to other forms of Parkinson's. (laughs) <laughs> so what about surgery? There are many types of surgery. We will focus on three of the common ones. The first is deep brain stimulation. The second, pallidotomy. And the third, thalamic surgery. In deep brain stimulation, electrodes are placed in the basal ganglia and attached to an internal stimulator, which is placed subcutaneously below the clavicle. NICE guidelines recommend that patients receiving this treatment should be carefully counselled about the risks and benefits and that it should only be considered after drug treatment has failed. Pallidotomy. So this is indicated for unilateral dyskinesia, severe on-off fluctuations and again drug failure. And the third, thalamic surgery. This is an effective method of controlling tremor, but unfortunately it has no effect on the bradykinesia aspect. I'm sorry to say, you've passed.